story went around in August of 1898 about a member of the English Matchmakers Union who had passed away from necrosis caused by phosphorus used in his work. A secretary, Miss Thornton Smith, called on the widow of the man to pay her the funeral expenses from his union fund. It was after sunset when she arrived, and the widow asked if Miss Smith would like to pay her respects to the deceased, who was laid out in an upstairs room. Not wishing to seem unfriendly, she said she would, and made her way up to the room where the corpse lay. The window was open, and a draught blew out the candle the women were using to light their way. As darkness fell in the room, Miss Smith could see a faint greenish-yellow glow in the corner, and approaching, looked into the grinning face of the dead man in his coffin. The phosphorus which had killed him, having impregnated the body so much that it glowed. Is the story true? Well, it might be. An English chemist named John Walker invented the first friction-lit match in 1826, the tip being a mixture of antimony pentasulfide, potassium chlorate and gum. Walker never patented his invention, and these early matches could be quite dangerous, leading to a ban in France. Thus it was that a Frenchman named Charles Sauria altered the chemical mix by substituting yellow phosphorus for the antimony. Yellow phosphorus is now known as white phosphorus. White phosphorus was used in the manufacture of matches from the 1830s until the early 20th century. Despite the harmful effects of white phosphorus vapours being understood as early as 1839, when Dr. Friedrich Lorenzer in Vienna diagnosed what he termed phosphorimus chronicus in a female patient who had worked as a matchmaker for five years, the condition which came to be better known as fossy jaw was treated as an occupational hazard. Mixers would melt the phosphorus into a liquid state. Dippers would push the wooden sticks into the mixture and put them aside to dry out. Then boxes would package them. The fumes inhaled from the chemical would react in the body to create amino biphosphonates, which left untreated caused necrosis in the jawbone. With tooth loss, production of fetid pus, and a separation of the gum from the jaw, progressing to the gradual death of the bone and subsequent loss of the jaw, and on occasion would spread to the orbit of the eye and destroy the eyeball. The affected bones were known to glow a greenish white colour from the phosphorus they absorbed. The first law prohibiting the use of white phosphorus was passed in Finland but not until 1872. Safety matches using red phosphorus had been invented in Sweden in 1855, but were more expensive to make. Britain did not pass a law banning its use in matches until 1910. The Salvation Army began manufacturing matches made from red phosphorus in 1891 in a bid to improve the lives of matchmakers, often poorer people working long hours. They were paid more than other companies would offer, and had access to a tea room. By the time the Salvation Army closed their factory in 1901, other manufacturers had largely switched to the safety matches and improved conditions for their workers.